Hi all. Today we are going to discuss about multi-phase chopper. So where this multi-phase chopper is used? Let us assume I have already designed one chopper circuit. It is running some particular load. So now let us assume my load requirement has increased. That means amount of load current that is required or power required is increased. So same chopper cannot be used. So in that case, what we will do, we will connect multiple choppers in parallel. So if you are connecting multiple choppers in parallel to supply the given load, that is called as the multi phase chopper so each of each chopper circuit we take as one phase let us assume if you are connecting two choppers in parallel so we call it as a two phase chopper instead of two because in this image i have connected two chopper circuits in parallel the ch1 ch2 was the chopper circuit that include the complete setup like voltage commutator circuit there is a complete set that means main thyristor along with this the commutation circuit that entire set together that i am calling as chopper one it can be either voltage commutation, current commutation, load commutation, depending on your application. They are connected in parallel. If three are connected in parallel, that is called as three phase chopper. So uh, what will be the benefit of connecting multiple choppers in parallel? Even when the load requirement is increased, so by connecting multiple choppers in parallel, we can supply the required load easily. That is first benefit. And second one, we are going to also see that, so by connecting multiple choppers in parallel, whatever the current pulse that is taken from your supply, that will the, the time period will decrease or the frequency will increase. So which is also called as a ripple frequency from the supply, that ripple frequency will be multiple of frequency of each of the chopper. I am going to explain the detail in the coming waveforms first i am explaining you what are the features so when the ripple frequency is more the benefit is the filtering of the higher frequency components is easy compared to low frequency component or otherwise the filter size is inversely proportional to the frequency which need to be filtered so that's why automatically the filter size decreases so automatically cost of the overall circuit will decrease we are also going to see in one particular mode the amount of the instantaneous current that is taken from the supply which is also called as a ripple amplitude that also we are going to see in detail that is also going to decrease going for the multi-phase chopper so before proceeding to understanding the waveforms so basically they based on how these parallelly operating choppers are fired at what instant they are fired based on that there are basically two modes of operation the first one is the in phase operating mode the name itself is telling in phase that means all are operating in the same phase or at the same time that means all the parallelly connected choppers are on and off at the same instant second type is phase shifted operating mode so in phase shifted operating mode what will be there each are triggered at a different instance of time that means there will be some phase shift between the two chapters or the, how, how they are operating but here you have to remember that the chopper frequency whatever the frequency at which each chopper is operating that will be same only only that instant at which they are fired is different in phase shifted operating mode so there are many benefits of the phase shifted operating modes that's why practically we go for phase shifted operating mode only so uh, here only one thing you have to remember here here in case of each chopper need a separate inductor external inductor that too of a very large magnitude in this case of multi-phase choppers because so that each chopper can work independently this inductor as well as free wheel inductor you can see for each circuit we have taken separately so what is the disadvantage of this one because as multiple inductors are required so the cost and size of the chopper increases little bit only that is a disadvantage so let us proceed to the working so let us take one by one so the choppers uh, if they are operating together that means they are called as the in phase operating mode in the in phase operating mode let us take the example of if they are conducting for 30 percent of the total duration if i am taking my total time period of one thyristor is t1 for 30 percent of the time it is turned on so 30 percent time let us assume the chopper one is conducting so the current passing through the first chopper i am taking as i1 so you can see that i1 is conducting for this 30 percent duration and magnitude will be same because what well, because that is supplying to your load so that will be equal to some let us take for example some current i naught so similarly the i2 is also fired at the same instant so let us assume it is supplying a current of some i naught so the total current that is taken from your supply because your main supply only supplying both and both are triggered at the same time so the current that is taken from your supply will be two times the current taken from each chopper or otherwise if each chopper is taking half of your load current then two times of the current that is passing through each chopper that much will be separate from your main supply that means supply has to give two times the current rating of each chopper that is the disadvantage now coming to the time period of operation you can see first thyristor 
first chopper second chopper same thing is the case if you take your supply frequency also it will be same because the time period will be same in this case okay so now coming to the phase shifted operating mode in phase shifted operating mode what i will do i will not fire all the choppers at the same time they are fired with some phase displacement in such a manner that whatever you are supply this current that waveform is there that will be symmetrical or that will be periodic so how this can be done you can see because it is operating for 30 percent the second one is shifted in such a manner it is placed in between when the first chopper is turned off in between that duration so now what will happen for this much duration for this much duration your thyristor one is turned on that means chopper one is turned on that is supplied from your main supply i have represented by black color then both the choppers are not working for some duration then chopper number two is turned on so chopper number two is turned down that I am representing by blue color. Again chopper one, again chopper number two, again chopper one, chopper number two. So now what is the benefit of this one? The benefit of this one is twofold. First one is if you can see here, this is the time period of the first chopper. This is the time period of the second chopper. T1 will be equal to T2 because both operate at same frequency. Let us assume that is equal to T. But here you can see the time period becomes half year in the case of supply or otherwise we can tell that frequency become two times so whenever frequency become two times the designing of this filtration circuit will be very easy then coming to the second one the maximum current that is carried by your main supply that is the same as the current rating of each of the chopper that means the current that is drawn from the main supply is decreased or otherwise we can tell that the current ripple the meaning of the current ripple or amplitude ripple amplitude ripple indicates what is the difference between peak value of the current and the minimum value of the current here the difference is less in the case of phase shifted operating mode compared to the in phase operating mode because in phase operating mode you can see it is 2 i naught minus 0 but in this case it will be i naught minus 0 only so the magnitude ripple is decreased and the frequency of the components or frequency of harmonics is increased that is beneficial in this i am going to summarize this one so uh, first taking with the maximum instantaneous value of the supply current in the first case it is equal to two times of the current taken by each chopper so that's why it is more when compared to phase shifted operating mode then coming to the ripple current amplitude which is the difference between maximum value of current and minimum value of current this will be equal to 2 i naught minus 0 that will be two times of i naught whereas in the case of phase shifted operation mode it is simply i naught minus 0 or i naught so this is less here then the time period of the supply current how what will be the time period of the supply current variation so that will be in the first case we have seen that all three are having the same time whereas in the case of second case this is having only half of the time duration it is completing when half of the time of the remaining two uh, that circuits chopper circuits getting it so the frequency is inversely proportional to this time period so we can tell that frequency of harmonics in the case of this uh, phase shifted chopper is equal to two times the frequency in the as compared to in phase operating mode so with that operate what is the benefit the size of the filter circuit which is inversely proportional to frequency so that will be decreased that will be the, uh, the size of the filter circuit will decrease so here i have made a mistake i am just changing it so the size of the filter circuit that will be there here it will be more or here it is less the size will decrease okay so now uh, in the phase shifted operating mode you can see for some duration your supply current is having a break or we can call it as the harmonics are there or ripple is there so if you want to completely remove this what i have to do i have to take in such a manner that always your supply will supply the current to one of these choppers how you can do it instead of taking it 30 percent make it as 50 percent if each one is operating for 50 percent then what will happen first uh, first one will conduct then immediately second one will conduct then first one second one so in that manner your supply current also will be constant like your load current so by keeping it 50 percentage we can maintain the continuity of the supply current so harmonics will be completely nullified in your supply current so that way we can get it but the disadvantage of this multi-phase chopper is extra commutation circuits are required for each of these choppers so automatically the complexity of the control logic will increase because you have to give a gap between at instant they are firing so that gap you have to maintain and proper gap you have to maintain so that's why the complexity is increased then second one the additionally external inductors are used for each of these choppers so more inductors are used so automatically cost as well as size of your circuit will 
increase in this case. I hope the basic cooperation of the multi-phase chopper advantage disadvantage are completely clear to you. If you still have any queries, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries from there. Thank you. Thank you very much.